Hi guys, George here from Zero Period, and today for Skyrim Saturday, I'm taking a look at The Lost Dwemer Castle by Ancient Cain. The mod features a four-part cave and Dwemer dungeon, along with a player home at the very end of the quest, acting as the reward. The mod is built upon another player home, Kagrinex Mountain Fortress, but the mod author states not to use both mods at the same time, as this will cause issues. Without further ado, let's get started. So to start off this quest, you will have to find a small little book here in the White Run. Hall of the Dead, it's a little tattered book right over here. Started the Lost Dwemer Castle. An old Ivar legend by Julius Avenis, scholar, Magus College of Winterhold. Centuries ago, forgotten cave, Iverstead, Dwarven Castle, Dwarven, miners and workers, a female Dwemer construct in the cave laboratory. I went up to, large parts of the book are unreadable. It's weird that someone would write that in a book. And that's also a joke, because I realize that that's just... You know, that's what the book says, or that's your understanding of the book. That's your interpretation, your your thought process when you're reading the book. I figured I'd bring Arissa along with me because I haven't had a companion um, with me in any of the Skyrim Saturday mods in a long time. So it's along the uh, the path up to High Hrothgar. Well, let's just walk from Iverstead, I suppose. I think one of the reasons... ...stop here before continuing on their way up to High Rothgar. If we're planning on making the climb, we should do the same. I think one of the reasons why I haven't used any companions for Skyrim Saturday in a while is because of the fact that a lot of the mods that I've been looking at uh, recommended not using any followers of any sort because, you know, it just causes problems or anything uh, like that. I was gonna say... <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, The Forgotten City is one of them, but that's from months and months ago at this point, so I, got, I guess that doesn't really count anymore. Um, Somerset, I sort of got rid of Orissa very early on when I was playing that mod, so that's why she wasn't around. Vigilant, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to have any sort of follower with you. It just doesn't seem like the best idea necessarily, given um, the amount of teleporting that's going on with all the Daedric Realms and everything. But, but yeah, so I decided to bring her along because I was looking at the mod page and it didn't say anything about not bringing companions, so I figured, alright, well if it doesn't explicitly say, don't bring your companions or else shit's gonna get fucked up, then, you know, why not? Um, Arissa might be a little more talkative than usual because, for whatever reason, I just didn't have Arissa as a follower on this save file, which surprises me because I really only have two save files, the one for the Skyrim modded playthrough and then the one for the Skyrim Saturday mods, so I was very confused by that, to be completely honest. It's very possible that at one point I just didn't have her checked off in my mod list, and uh, I had her checked on this time when I went to play it, so that's why I don't have any save data with her. So I'm just essentially restarting with her. Uh, but you know, still one of my favorite followers of all time, essentially. Her and Inigo are still two of my favorite just regular sort of followers. Good. Ha! I'm just let him hang out there, just hang out. Be mind controlled, he doesn't need to bother anyone, doesn't need to bother us. And I think I'll just cut to when we finally reach this dwarf structure, wherever it is. It says it's... Alright, yeah, I'll just, I'll find it, and I'll see you guys in a second, you stupid goddamn bear. So I was completely wrong in my original assessment that it was along the way to High Hrothgar. <laughs> It was not on that mountain at all. I actually had to fast travel to Pine Peak Cavern, and I'm just kind of walking from there, and it seems we're on the correct path now. I also just learned, after years of playing Skyrim, that if you hold the right mouse button and drag, you can actually change the angle and kind of twirl your map around it. Did not know that. A little embarrassed that I never knew that before. Did anyone else know that, for that matter? Because I never thought to do it. I don't know why I thought to do it this time, but I did, and now I know that that's a thing. So, hopefully, I'm not the only person who didn't know that, and I taught someone else out there something new about Skyrim. I really hope so, because <laughs> otherwise that's going to be a little embarrassing. Playing Skyrim for four years now, pretty much every week, every other day at this point almost, because of all the videos, but... God damn. I'm glad Arissa's not here to kind of, like, shake her head and go, Really, George? Really? Forgotten Cave. Gain access to the Dwemer Castle. Hello? Oh, hello, Skeever. How are you? Oh, God, it's covered in... It's an infected Skeever. 
that might be because of... That's either part of the mod or because of, um... Immersive creatures. I don't think I have immersive creatures on. I know that this mod uses some, um... Resources from other mods, resource packs, that, you know, they're allowed to use and such. So it might be from that. But I'm not entirely sure. Either way, it's not really a big deal. It's just, you know, a skeever with some shit on it. Got a chest. Novice, alright, don't mind if I do. Let me take a crack at it. Almost. Beautiful. Uh, I'll just take the gold. That's all I need. It's fine. More skeevers? No? Oh, maybe. Oh, yep, another infected skeever. <laughs> oh! Did the infected skeever kill the other ones? <laughs> Ugh. Oh, we got a tripwire right there. Nice try trying to bash my face and I don't think so. Oh, we got Dwemer spiders. Trying to shock me, huh? Shocking, huh? That does take care of that. You're right, Arissa. I've missed you. Thank you for coming back on this wonderful, wonderful adventure. Even though, according to you, we've never met before, so... This is all brand new to you anyway. She doesn't even know I'm the goddamn Dragonborn. Oh. Yep, I think this is from... Pretty sure this is from interesting... Not interesting, um, immersive... Creatures. Because that's what adds... The different... Uh, dwarven spiders. So... That might very well just be... From my mod list, not necessarily from the mod itself. I'm trying to remember what mod pack, or what resource pack this mod uses. I think it's, um, V-I-C-N, um, resource pack, mod pack, you know. You know. I know it's used in a few different things, so there's that. Eastern Daedra Katana, let's give that to Arissa, just so she has a better weapon for dealing with all this shit. Yep, no, I hear you, Cars. I hear you. Goddamn, Cars. How you doing, Arissa? Oh, alright. She wants to talk about this. Yep, I'm the Dragonborn. Surprise, surprise. I've always known you were special. Maybe that's what it's been all along. We've known each other for five seconds. Um, alright, can we just get on with this? No matter what, it doesn't change who you are on the inside. An asshole. That's what counts. I am, yeah, alright. Whatever you so say. Whatever comes next, count me in. I'll be right behind you. How about a lost Dwemer castle? Anytime. Now come on. Adventure awaits, remember? I just want to give you a sword. Yeah? Um, let's manage your equipment. That's not going to happen. Never mind. All right. I you don't like me enough for me to give you stuff. I just want to give you weapons. Come on. That's so much to ask for. Incredible. Yeah, Arissa, don't fall. It's a long way down. I mean, I see a path to get back up, but don't fall. It's easier that way. Oh! Alright, and... There we go. No more fire. The fire's not stopping. Never mind that, I suppose. Just don't step in it, Orissa. You'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Oh. Who goes there? A dwarven? Worker, Warden. Oh, what is in his face? There's something stuck in him. Wait. Alright, we got him. Yeah, there's a... <laughs> there's a strut just sticking out of his forehead. Is that... That's everyone. I know there's a Centurion over there, but... If we can ignore him, that would be... Wonderful. Nah, you know what? We'll fight him. Boop. Orissa, have at it. He's all yours. Maybe when this is over, you'll like me enough to let me give you some weapons. I have a Dwemer Katana. Not Dwemer. Um, Daedra Katana. And you just don't give a shit. You should give a shit. It's, it's amazing. It really is. Also, that's from... Um, immersive weapons. Not immersive weapons. That's another mod. It's the mod pack from Insanity Sorrow, the... Ooh, Old Dwemer Key. The... Weapons of the 3rd and 4th Era. Oh god, I'm about to die. What? Okay, yep, alright. I was going to level up, but I accidentally exited out of the menu. My bad. 
Uh oh. All right, he sees us. <laughs> He's already suspicious. Oh, I gotta kill him before he murders me again. Also, I haven't leveled up this time because I had to replay the first section of this uh, dungeon, so... I did want to be a little bit more careful this time around, and obviously it worked. Now that I knew what to expect... I also don't know why Arissa isn't wearing her armor this time, she's just wearing her casual clothing, and... Now's not the time for that, we're kind of... <laughs> exploring a cave full of... Dwemer... Contraptions and, uh... Spectre mages, so probably... Want to put on some armor, you know? Just a good idea. Defend yourself and whatnot. I think at least. Oh, alright, that's right. I need to go get the key, because I didn't get that yet. So let's hippity hop on down and retrieve the key. Nope. Nope. Nope, I just broke that off. Didn't I? There we go. And I leveled up. Absolutely beautiful. Oh no, I didn't level up. Hmm. I lied. Don't listen to me, everyone. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know that the mod is voice acted, so at some point we're going to come across someone who's going to voice act for us, and I'll be like, yes, wonderful. Speak to me the words that are spoken in your beautiful, beautiful language. Oh, hello there, sir. He's not the one speaking, I'm willing to bet. Whoops. I am sorry, Orissa. Did not mean for you to get caught in that. Just this very tanky dwarven worker. There we go. Got that right. And that's the thing. The Twemer constructs, they've just been hanging out for hundreds and hundreds of years. And then all of a sudden, some guy just shows up and murders them. They're like, oh, my life was so peaceful up until this one moment when this asshole and his friend Orissa just show up. And she doesn't even bother to wear armor. It's like, yep, nope, that sounds, um, like a perfect description of the current situation. There we go. Hello? Anyone? I know that it's a four-part Dwemer, um, you know, structure slash dungeon slash cave, so... Would this be the second area already? I'm not sure, because the first area is just the cave itself. But we'll see. I think the mod author has some plans to update the mod a little bit. Add a couple new features. I think he wants to possibly add... Um, who's essentially the main character of the mod uh, as a companion. So we'll see about that, if that happens. Even if he doesn't, that's fine by me, because I'm essentially just playing the mod uh, for the story, for the quest, so if I don't get to keep the main character as a companion afterwards, it's not a huge deal to me, because, I mean, I usually uninstall my mods after I beat them anyway. It's just how I do things. Just keep an eye out, Orissa. Everyone here is trying to murder us. Oh, what the fuck is that? Okay, I think that's from the mod pack. Sorry, Arissa, but I really wanted to shoot the worms because those things are terrifying. Look at them. They're disgusting. What are they supposed to be? I mean, I know they're dwarven worms, but they're mechanical worms. They look like they look more like snakes than worms because snakes are more intimidating, if you ask me. You know, just a little. Oh, <laughs> hey, Arissa, if you had armor, you wouldn't have fallen down. You ever consider that? No? Well, maybe you should. What do they have on them, for that matter? Uh, the bolts, common soul gem. Alright. Hello? Oh, hi there! That guy's got a great sword. Oh, Orissa, <laughs> thank you. He's gonna murder Orissa, just watch. Come on. Good thing Arissa said to, um, Essential. Okay, Arissa, you... You took him down, you know what you were doing. Who's next? More Dwarven Worms? Hopefully not. Ooh, potions. Don't mind if I do. Uh-oh. Hi there. Also, Unrelenting Force really doesn't work on them, so let me just use... Fire Breath. Which I know one word. 
is not fantastic. I suppose. Ah, damn it. I was about to get the kill and Orisa took it right out of my hands. Damn it, Orisa. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hello there. How you doing, Mr. Worker? I'm here to relieve you of your duties. Uh, nope, nope. I'm here to relieve you. You can leave. You don't have to stay here anymore. <laughs> When's the last time you saw your boss? When's the last time you had to check in with him, huh? You ever realize maybe you can just leave? Maybe you don't have to stay here forever? No? You never thought about that? Well, alright, well... You don't have to think about it, because you're dead. Ah, oh, more worms. God damn it. I don't... I don't like them. The reason I don't like them is because they remind me of snakes. I'm not a huge fan of snakes. Not sure I know how. I can't speak English. I'm not sure I know a whole lot of people who are fond of snakes. But still. Was I supposed to turn the water valve on? Can I go up here? Not really, no. Alright. Let's head the other way then. Oh! I see someone. Well, I was hoping for a little more damage, but I guess not. Wait, I can get him. I can get him. Yeah, one down. Oh, that's a lot more to go. That's a lot more than I was counting on. Does that one over there have wings? You know, he... Oh, God, a Dwemer. What did that say? A Dwemer Dramon Construct. It's very possible that these are from the mod and not from immersive creatures. Yeah, immersive creatures. I was trying to remember. Because I always get immersive and interesting mixed up because of interesting NPCs. Come on. One of them's almost dead, and when he's dead, I can fight the other 10,000 of them. Oh, the snake ran away. That's good. I like the foreman's weapon. This sort of... The blade mounted into his arm. I like the design. It almost reminds me of sort of the... The Assassin's Creed hidden blade. Even though obviously a lot larger and there's nothing really hidden about it. It's kind of right there in my face. Oh! Is the worm floating? Yeah, the worm's kind of floating right now. I'm about to die. Don't want that. Come on. Wait. There we go, beautiful. <gasps> I think I can take his sword. Ooh. This guy looks pissed. I'm not gonna lie. He looks really goddamn pissed. Okay, and I'm about to die. Oh boy, oh boy. I think I picked up some potions. Because I'm gonna need them right about now. Wait, he's almost dead. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let me take the bolts back, because I can use those. Heavy Dwarven Sword, don't mind if I do. Because it looks badass. I want to take a look at that, actually. Um, heavy Dwarven Sword. That, that looks really nice. I like the, the very mechanical design of it. I guess it wasn't grafted onto his arm as I originally believed, but still, I like it. Hello? No one else? Good, thank god. Let me just unlock this. Adept isn't the worst. Oh, never mind. It is. It would seem it is the worst. Oh, almost so close. And... Beautiful. Oh boy. So, back when the Dwemer were, you know, alive, if they just had... One of the Centurions blocking the doorway. Is it that they just never used the doorway, or is it that it was just there and they would just crawl underneath his legs or whatever? Because the, the Dwemer weren't exactly small in stature. Just because they're called the Dwarves doesn't mean they were actually short. They were, you know, regular size. The Inner Sanctum. What's with the, uh, the 
green smoke. It's a little unnerving. Is that poison? Is there a poison gas filling this entire chamber? I hope not. If you see my health start to just kind of go down suddenly. Oh, hello there. It's probably because the goddamn dwarven work is here to murder me. Because, you know, poison gas really doesn't matter to them necessarily. Oh, God. Come on, we can do this, Arissa. We got this. Glad I brought Arissa with me, because she's really helping pick up the slack. And by the slack, I mean my slack. Because we all know that I should not always be trusted to fight alone. Is that... Okay, no, I thought it was a scroll I could pick up. Oh, God. Alright, so there was explosive gas. Wait, there we go. One down. One to go. I really wish Arisa would put her armor on. Because she was wearing it the first time, wasn't she? Not sure why she isn't wearing it this time, but... She's still holding her own, so... I guess... It doesn't matter too much. I'm liking this mod so far because it's just a really nicely done... Dungeon. And I just like, I like dungeons. I like dungeon diving. Uh, even in Skyrim, it's just a lot of fun. And I love exploring. I love new locations. So to me, this is already just great because even though there really isn't any sort of story so far or anything, I just get to explore a very well-crafted new area. And to me, that's just always fantastic. Arissa, I need you to move a little bit. Alright, Arissa, now I'm stuck. There we go. Oh boy. A Dwarven Spider Masterpiece. Alright, I have a feeling that these are from the mod more so than from um, the mods that I've installed because even when I use immersive creatures and stuff like that, not every enemy is one of the immersive creatures um, enemies. It's still mixed in with the regular level list, so... Well, re regular spawn list for enemies. Level list is usually pertaining to items. You know what I mean, but... Uh, for every enemy to essentially be one of the, the modded creatures, I'm guessing that this is from the mod. Which also adds to it, because it makes the mod, you know, a little more interesting than, say, your regular vanilla, just Dwemer structure or cave or whatever, because... I mean, I, I think everyone's used to fighting just the regular... Dwemer spiders and the spheres and centurions at this point, so adding a little bit of variation is always, you know, just magnifique. Back here, you stupid worm. I'm talking about how beautiful you are as I try to brutally murder you. For that matter, he's really goddamn tanky. I gotta heal up a little before I die. Arissa, can you take over? She's not doing that much damage either. <laughs> And down he goes. Oh, it snowed right here. Oh, Trub, you're on the foolhardy. Oh, <laughs> that's all he brought with him. He brought clothes, a dagger, and <laughs> the lusty Argonian maid. Volume 1, to be specific. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's a nice touch. How he tried to, to climb in through that opening and fell. Hence him being the foolhardy. I like that. Once again, I just like little touches like that in mods where we explore new areas and whatnot. I know there's a doorway right there. I just kind of want to explore this. Doesn't lead anywhere. Kind of figured that as well. Let me take that diamond. Sell that for some shit. Why don't I? Oh! I saw the Dwemer. That's a dead end. Alright, I'm going to take out... Actually, no, no, no. Why am I doing that? I wanted to take out my shield, but I was trying to remember my hotkeys, because I have a different set of hotkeys for the Skyrim Saturdays versus the Skyrim modded playthrough, and the last thing I recorded was the Skyrim modded playthrough. I was originally going to release more Somerset today, because I actually recorded and finished uh, Somerset, but I did also want to take a look at some of the newer mods that were out, because there are some newer mods, of which this is 
uh, one of them. There's a couple others, but this seems like it would only be maybe uh, one week's worth of content, perhaps. So I thought this might be kind of nice just to do this week. Next week, go back to um, Somerset. Oh, no, we got more of the green green mist. Where are all the when we're going? They're just kind of walking over there, aren't they? Oh, now they see me. Okay. Okay, we're going to save. We are really going to save.